But if you if you really think about it, man, controlling your time is the highest dividend money pays. In high school, you want to make all this money so you can buy all these nice things and move out of your parents and be free. But somehow you end up being a slave to honestly material. <laughs> Happy motherfucking Tuesday. God damn, Nick. We had to cut that out, bro. Man, you guys see the title, bro. Shoes are just boring. Like, I have no desire to sit here and account for every release and know every single name. And low key, you know, it's kind of been like that since the beginning. I don't know every goddamn name of a sneaker. I don't care to know every name of a sneaker. If they're dope, I buy them, I rock them, I feel good. And man, I don't know what it is, bro, if I've just had this sudden awakening of just life, right? You know, I'm 29 years old. I've been doing this whole sneaker thing and I know I just constantly keep bringing it up. Oh yeah, I've been doing this for 10 years. Oh yeah, I've been doing this for 10 years. But this is just a way for me to express myself. And that's the whole reason I started YouTube. And you know, maybe this will reach people who feel the same bro because the way my mind has just transformed within the last few years i'm just so different the way i think is different the way i act is different and of course that has to do with growth right like that's that's inevitable hopefully if you're the same person you were five years ago there's there's probably something wrong man you know what's really kind of made me come to this new transition in my life is the aspect of I constantly sit and, you know, just look in the mirror and like, what, what do I want in life? Like, what is the ultimate goal? And, you know, the reason I became a YouTuber was really just an aspect of I wanted to inspire people. And, you know, what came with that was this insane wave of like people that I connected with. Some of my closest friends are because of the Internet, but also I got this element of freedom, the ability to work whenever I want and a lot of people want that, but they don't understand the discipline that you need in order to do so. Because there's days where I don't have to make a video. You guys see me disappear for months at a time, weeks at a time, whatever. And maybe you even see some of your favorite YouTubers do the same. And it's literally because they don't have to make videos. At a certain point, you know, the revenue drops a little bit and you got to come back and build it back up. But it's just not one of those things that you have to show up every single day. Maybe initially in the beginning, but once you build some type of momentum in an audience that hopefully likes you, they'll support you and come back. But I've really gained this hatred of influencers and I don't know, this new level of what the internet is of this fake lifestyle, right? And I think, unfortunately, I've even kind of, what's the word? Um, what's the word? Contributed to this lifestyle of man, you need to make the most money. You need the nicest car. You need the baddest girl. You need a nice crib. You need to be rich because if you ain't rich, man, you failing. You need to be 21 years old and you better be crypto millionaire. You know, like I've contributed to the aspect of like, you need the nicest watches. You need the nicest shoes because if you don't, you're a loser and everything sucks and your life sucks. And I just hate what the internet has become in terms of this this like hustle culture and this guilt of you're not there, you're not there, you're not there. This constant pressure that we keep putting on ourselves or maybe even put on yourself thinking that you need to be better than the next man or you need to be like me and I need to be like him and he needs to be like him. And it's just like a, a never ending battle with what social media has become in the aspect of it's just never enough. And that's not real life, guys. It's literally robbing us blind of our life, of our experiences. For example, let's, let's break this down in the simplest form. I get a candy bar, right? I got a Snickers bar. You got a Reese's, you're super happy for your Reese's, but hey, you, want, you wanted a Snickers bar. Like the Snickers bar tastes way better. So when you eat your Reese's, you're like, ah, oh, this ain't even that fire, man. I wish I had a Snickers bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like that. You can't, you don't ever just enjoy what you have. And I, I hate it. I genuinely hate it. And it's even been that way in terms of like sneakers of like this competition of who has the most fire shoes. And I don't, I don't know. Like, it's just corny. Like I, it's, it's whack. For real. And again, it's just this never ending trap that I'm personally sick of. You know, growing up, I had a, a single mother. She definitely spoiled me within reason, though. I, I wasn't I didn't have like a brand new nice car or, like, or have a trust fund or was spoiled by any means. You know, shoot, our rent was probably only eight hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? I had enough. But growing up, I always thought I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a millionaire. Once I'm a millionaire, I'm going to buy everything. And You know, there it is right there. I'm going to buy everything. I didn't want to necessarily be a millionaire. I wanted to spend a million dollars. And that's where the problem lies. It's this weird confusion that I feel like we all have. And kind of what has stopped me from making like sneaker videos, and I'm gonna make sneaker videos regardless. It's, it's, it's bound to happen, right? But 
between these long pauses, it's like I'm just trying to figure out how can I provide real value instead of always telling you, oh, you need to buy this shoe. Oh, this is the most fire shoe. Because the terms that I've kind of come to is throughout all these years, this 10 years of being a content creator, I have made a lot of money. And you know what I did with all that money? I spent it. I made more money, I got a nicer car. I made more money, I got a nicer watch. I made more money, I got a nicer apartment. I made more money, I got nicer clothes. And to me, it's just one of those things like, does this ever end? Is this just a constant cycle of adding these things that I thought I wanted so much, right? Life was gonna be so much better with these things. All it really did was add more stress to my life. It completely took away my peace of mind to create. And it also puts you in a situation of you have to work then versus getting to work or wanting to work. You have to work because you have to afford the car payment. You have to afford rent. You have to pay off the new camera or whatever it is that you're buying, right? But if you, if you really think about it, man, controlling your time is the highest dividend money pays. The opportunity to really decide if I do wanna work today, if I don't wanna work today, if I just wanna live life, it's like I'm backtracking. In high school, you wanna make all this money so you can buy all these nice things and move out of your parents and be free, but somehow you end up being a slave to, honestly, material. And that's like the hard thing that I battle with every single day. My niche and how I became, or I should say grew this social media was by spending money and telling you guys to spend money. I do think there's, there's things in life. We should be able to buy as many clean sneakers as you want, as many watches, do whatever you want with your money. You only live once. But I think the most important thing is the freedom aspect of it, doing it on your time. The ability to know all your bills are paid and you don't even gotta think about it. Like that's freedom. That's what I wanna teach you guys. That's what I wanna teach the younger people that watch this channel. Things that I wish at 21 I would have known. And there's a lot of times where I kick myself because I could have done this and could have done that. You know, we all have these weird regrets in our lives or things that we wish we did. But I'm realizing we're all exactly where we need to be whether it's good or bad, it's just a part of this, this long journey of life. And I really try to just stop and you know just forgive myself for being ignorant to life. And it, sometimes it's one of those things that you just gotta go through. Someone can tell you all day long, oh, youngin', you should invest. Oh, youngin', you shouldn't do this. Oh, debt, you should stay away from debt, youngin'. You're like, man, I ain't worried about you gotta say, old oh, man. Sometimes you gotta go through it. Sometimes you really gotta be like, genuinely crushed financially in life, I don't know, in order for you to wake up. Sometimes it just, it takes that. In my life personally, I realize it's no longer about being the richest man or a multimillionaire. I will genuinely take happiness and peace over all of it. I would get rid of everything in this room, in this house, just for peace to be able to wake up and be like, what am I gonna do today on my own time? You get what I'm saying out there, anyone? Please, please leave a comment. I know I'm just going on this rant. I'm trying to keep it like, I'm trying to organize how I want my thoughts to be. But really the moral of the story of this podcast was just, I'm bored of sneakers. I want to provide more value to you guys. I want to teach you what I've been learning. I want my money to work for me because I'm so sick of this hustle culture and this fake influencer space of everything needs to be perfect. That's just not real life. There's no perfect 5 a.m. morning routine. You take your vitamins and you drink some collagen and then you go to the gym and then you have these perfectly meal prepped sandwiches. And then I hop in my Ferrari and I drive to my million dollar condo. It's like, get the bro, get the fuck out of here, man. I'm saying, hey, you, I'm not saying you can't have that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm tired, I'm tired of people. It's just fake crap, keeping up with the Joneses. Is that all we really want in life is just, ooh, I see an item. I want to buy it, then you buy it, and then you just go on to the next item, and it's just like a constant cycle of buying stuff buying stuff you don't need to impress people that don't really care about you. One of the craziest things I read in the book is like how big our egos are, right? Like you have a nice watch or you buy, let's say you have a G-Wagon and you're whipping it and you're driving it, and someone looks at you and, the, and you, it's your ego, you're like, yeah, they think I'm the man, but in reality, they're just thinking to themselves, that's a really nice car. I'm gonna give me one of those one day. <laughs> like that's it, ego. Social media has inflated people's egos, y'all. Ah, I feel good. I needed this. <laughs> thanks for thanks for listening. I don't have too many people to just like talk to about this stuff, so. It's nice to just, this is literally therapy for me, guys. I started a free community. Um, it's a group called The Inner Circle. I've been trying to find a way for us to just all connect. So if you guys wanna join The Inner Circle, it's completely free. 
at least the free version of it. The link will be down below in the description, but you can hop in there. My podcast will get uploaded on there. Um, I'm going to do like fitness stuff, different books that I love to read. Eventually I'll get around to doing like some stocks, <clears throat> some trading signals. We'll talk sneakers. We'll do all that stuff, man. I just, I just really want to build a community of like-minded people that we can just talk amongst each other on how to build. I think that's something that I'm just, I'm really missing in my life right now. So if you feel the same, Make sure to join that group. If you guys have any questions, any other topics that I could talk about, let me know in the comments. Did you relate to this video? Am I, am I sounding crazy? <laughs> uh, much love. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Run it.